Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can download and install Linux Mint on your VMware Workstation Player on your Windows operating system. So let's start with the download of ISO file for the Linux Mint. So just go to your favorite browser and search for Linux Mint. And the first link which will appear here will be from linuxmint.com. So we are going to click on this link. And straight away, you will see this download button here. Also, you can see the download link at the top. So here you can hover over the download and then click on the latest version. So we are going to click on this download button here. So once you are on the download page, you have three variants of Linux Mint you can download. One is the Cinnamon edition, which looks like this. Other is the Mate edition, which looks like this. And then third one is the XFCE edition, which looks like this. We are going to download and install the Cinnamon edition. So just click on this button, which says uh, download under Cinnamon edition. And then when you scroll down a little, you will see the download mirrors. So the first one here is the world mirror. I will recommend you to choose the mirror, which is near to your location. So if you live in USA, just choose from one of these options. So I'm going to uh, choose the first option, which is the world option for simplicity. But I will recommend you to download the ISO file from the nearest location from your location. So you can see it's around 2.8 GB file. So it will take some time to download. Once this file is downloaded, I have already downloaded this file. So let me cancel this. So once the file is downloaded, it's going to look like this Linux Mint and then the version, then cinnamon 64 bit dot ISO file. Now, once you have the Linux Mint ISO file, we are ready to uh, install Linux Mint on VMware Workstation Player. So just open your VMware Workstation Player and here you will see this uh, link. It says create a new virtual machine. So just click on it. So on this first window, you have this welcome to the new virtual machine wizard. Just choose the last option here, which says I will install the operating system later and then click on next. Now in the guest operating system section, because we want to install Linux Mint, we will choose the Linux here as operating system. And the version here is uh, Ubuntu 64-bit by default. But when you expand this uh, list here, you can search here that Linux Mint is not listed in this uh, list, right? So you can see other uh, Linux operating systems are here, but Linux Mint is not listed. So what you need to do here is you can choose the nearest uh, operating system, which uh, is nearest to the Linux Mint, which is Ubuntu 64-bit. So just select 64-bit Ubuntu here and then click on next. And then just give the name to your Linux Mint uh, virtual machine. I'm going to name it as Linux uh, Mint here. And then I will leave 64-bit and it will be saved at this location. So if you want to change this location, just uh, click on browse and then you can change the location of this virtual machine. So for example, on my PC, I want to just save this virtual machine in a folder called Linux Mint. So I will just choose that. But if you leave this as default, it will just take the default location. So you don't need to worry about that, right? I'm going to click on next here. Now here you need to provide the disk capacity. So it depends on the space which is available on your uh, host operating machine. In my case, it's Windows 11 and by default it's 20 GB which is allocated. I want to change it to 100 which will be the maximum disk size, right? And choose this option here which says split virtual disk into multiple files, okay? And then click on next. And then you have the option to customize your hardware here. So you can see 
all the options which you have selected and then click on customize hardware option and from here we can also customize our hardware so now just select the memory section here by default you can see 4096 MB is allocated which is around 4 GB of memory which is recommended but depending on the memory which is available on your host operating system you can increase or decrease it so I will recommend it to just leave it at this green mark but it depends uh, you can also increase it so in my case I will just increase it up to 8 GB and then I'm going to click on processors here by default there are two processors I'm going to just uh, choose four processor so here you can see virtualization engine virtualize Intel VT uh, hyphen X EPT and then CPU performance counter and other option for now I'm going to leave it as unchecked and then I'm going to click on the next option and this option is for the new CD DVD SATA so here what we can do is we can just select this option which says use ISO file and then browse for your Linux Mint ISO file so you can see I have saved this ISO file in this folder so just browse to the location where your ISO file is saved and then select that ISO file and then click on open and you can see our Linux Mint ISO file is set here once that's done you can leave every other thing as default so you have this network adopter and an USB controller and other options but we don't want to change any of these options for now so just click on close and then click on finish which is going to create your virtual machine so you can see this Linux Mint 64-bit virtual machine has been created so now we just need to start our virtual machine which will start the installation of Linux Mint on VMware Workstation Player so just wait for few seconds until this starts and here you can see software update so whenever you will try to install any uh, Linux operating system on VMware Workstation Player and if you're doing it for the first time VMware Workstation Player is going to recommend you this software update which is the following software is available for download which is VMware tools for Linux so this VMware tools for Linux will help you to use your Linux operating system which is your virtual uh, machine in a better way so you can just click on download and install option which is going to start the download and install of this VMware tools for Linux so here you can wait for the download and install of this tool and then you can see our Linux Mint operating system is also started so here you can see few options first one is start Linux Mint second one is start uh, Linux Mint in compatibility mode and then OEM install and then test memory just choose the first option here and then press enter and once you press enter you will see that it's going to start the Linux Mint so just wait for a few seconds and now you can see that Linux Mint has been started so at this point you can uh, test Linux Mint how it feel and look like but the installation is not yet started right so this is just for you to test how Linux Mint looks like and feels like but if you want to install Linux Mint permanently you need to click on this option which says install Linux Mint so just click on this CD option which says install Linux Mint here and now you can see the installation of Linux Mint has been started so in the first window you can choose the language in which you want to install Linux Mint I will choose English but you can select any other language from uh, the given list here and then click on continue and then on the next window you can choose the keyboard layout so in different countries we use different keyboard layouts so for example in my case I live in Germany so I use the German keyboard layout so I will choose German here and then select German if you are not sure then you can click on detect keyboard layout and then it's going to automatically detect your keyboard layout and then you can click on continue here and then you have the next window 
So here it says multimedia codecs. I will just check this checkbox, which is going to install these extra third party multimedia codecs and then click on continue. And then we reach to the next stage. So this next stage is called installation type. And you will see two options here. First option is erase disk and install Linux Mint. And other option is something else. So you just need to leave this as default, which is erase disk and uh, install Linux Mint. Don't worry, it's not going to erase anything on your host operating system. It's just a step uh, in the installation process of Linux Mint. If you do it on an actual hardware, then it's going to erase everything and install Linux Mint. But on the VMware workstation player, it's not going to do anything. So just leave it as default and then click on install now, which is going to start the installation process of Linux Mint. So now you can see write the changes to disk. So just click on continue here and then we are on the next window. So here you can choose the region in which you are located. So if it's not automatically displayed here, you can choose the location and then click on continue. And here on the next window, you need to provide the computer name and your name and then provide the password. So let me choose the computer name, which is code bind in my case. And then the computer name, I also leave it as same as my name, right? So you can see the name is this one, computer name is this one. And then the username is also the same in my case then provide the password and this password will be used to log into your linux mint operating system i will repeat that password and then once you are done click on continue and now at this point you just need to wait for the installation to finish so you can see it's copying all the files then it will start the installation of all the files so at this point, you just need to wait for a few minutes. And now after some time, I can see this message which says installation complete. And then at this point, I just need to click on the restart now button, which is going to restart my Linux Mint operating system. And the installation of Linux Mint is finished at this point. So I'm going to click on restart now. And then you can see, please remove the installation media and then press enter. So I'm going to press enter here. And now I can see the login window for Linux Mint. So let me just uh, give my password, which I have provided at the time of installation. So I'm going to provide the same password and then press enter. And now I'm inside the Linux Mint. So you can see the Linux Mint installation has been finished. And because we have installed the VMware tools for Linux, we have the option to maximize and minimize our Linux Mint window and it resizes according to the size of the desktop, right? This is the welcome window. So if you want to go through this welcome window, you can go through, uh, otherwise you can close this window. And now you can start using Linux Mint on your VMware workstation player. So this is how you can install Linux Mint on VMware workstation player. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.